Riley Glennon near side. Comes into the circle. Couldn't get it out. Homan now picks it up. And that's in for the goal. How about that? I don't know if that was all Homan or if that was redirected by Mary Thompson. But either way, sneaky goal by the Mammoths. We'll give it to Homan for now because that was a heck of a shot. And Amherst up one to nothing early on here. 4-25 into the first period. Baxter behind. Back to the blue line, kept in the zone, and now we've got a break here. And this is dangerous. It's Matty Tix on her own. One on one with Stott. It's Stott makes the save. Stopping the breakaway by Matty Tix. And it's still a one to nothing game, and it's still an Amherst power play. 48 seconds to go, and here's Kate Pohl. Wind up, a shot wide to the left. That one coming from Galley. And it's finally cleared by Avery Flynn. We got an empty net. We do. And Amherst College makes it two to nothing. Avery Flynn with a huge empty net goal. And that one was anything but a gimme when you consider how well Williams was playing in that six on five. Time running out in both contests here. It is done here. Amherst College with a two to nothing win over Williams. And pending the final minute in the game between Middlebury and Hamilton, which is two to nothing Middlebury, Amherst College may, and basically yes, I can confirm it now, Amherst College has just clinched the number one seed in the NESCAC tournament. A regular season title is booked. A little three title is booked for the second consecutive season. And of course, as always, a big win over Amherst. Two to nothing tonight here at Orr Rink.